Welcome back to FGW Tech. I'm your host, Isaiah. Today we're here with Jacob Jim. and Drew, and we're going to be building Jacob's first PC over here. How much was it? Like 1500 ish? It's going to be right? 15 with the GPU. With the GPU, which we don't have today. Uh, he'll be socketing in a 3060 Ti or 3070 later on, but we'll go over the parts that we do have. Um, it will post because he does have integrated graphics, so we'll get to see with the RGB on. We've got the 12600K. Uh, for the CPU cooler, we've got the Fractal uh, Lumen S24. We'll go over why we chose that. Uh, for the motherboard, we've got the, what's it called again? Um, MSI Pro B660A DDR4. So it is a B660 board because we didn't want to break the budget and he isn't. he's not going to use DDR5. Speaking of which, we've got the uh, 16 gigs of 3600CL16 Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. For the storage, we have a one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus. For the power supply, you can see here we have the NZXT C750 that is upside down, but I believe this power supply is on the top tier of Linus Tech Tips power supply tier list. And then over here is the case, the all black version of the new Fractal Design Pop Air RGB um, comes with the three included fans. So we'll probably top mount the radiator. Um, and that's why we chose the Fractal radiator because it has the same fans or very similar fans that will like match really nice. So we're going to build it now. All right, guys, as Jacob is unboxing the RAM, you can see over here, he has the Linus Tech Tips uh, wide, uh, is this the wide Linus one? I don't this remember. This is wide Linus, yes. Wide Linus, so he's got the wide Linus mouse pad, the Razer Viper V2, and this Razer keyboard with keycaps that I got him for his birthday. They're the, G, the Glorious GPBT Rainforest. Uh, here's his setup over here. He's got the Razer Nari Ultimate. Um, but as you can see over here, he's about to socket his RAM. Oh wait, you said the headset. Somewhere. Oh, that's the Razer Viper Ultimate? And then I have the Razer Nari Ultimate headset. Wait, then why is it plugged in? Are you charging it? Yeah. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah, All right, we're gonna like socket. That. We're gonna socket the RAM now, guys. I did. All right, guys, I brought my iFixit Essentials Kit for this exact purpose. Jacob is gonna unscrew his M.2 shield on his motherboard and install the SSD, as you can see here. It's an i7 EVO Plus, so it's basically as fast as uh, NVMe PCIe Gen 3 gets. Uh, so you will now see the time lapse of him installing the SSD. We got to plug in the have eight pins. pins. We have every single cable that there is. We do have every single cable. Make sure you don't plug in the Molex. We don't like Molex here. We don't? Okay. We no. don't. Nobody Good. does. No. Good. If the only reason you need a Molex is for a hard drive. Oh. Well, here's the thing. A hard drive for bulk storage is not a bad thing. Okay. You know I have like don't five on the hard, hard drive cages. Jacob. I know. I've seen your case. It's a chunky mother.
All right, guys, so basically what's happening right now is we took one of, so we tried to put the radiator in and it didn't clear the RAM. So, it, and then the radiator got stuck up there. So what we did is we took one of the fans off the radiator, we took the RAM out, and now we are going to remount the AIO up there. And then once we screw in the AIO, we are gonna try to put the RAM back in. And if that works, then that's sick. And if it doesn't work, then we're gonna have to front mount the AIO, which is not ideal, but it will work. Um, so we're gonna screw this in and then we'll show you if the RAM fits. All right, guys, so as you can see, we can't actually top mount the um, fractal uh, radiator in the case because when I push it all the way back, it interferes with the motherboard heatsink. Um, and then as you can also see, the RAM would not be socketable. So we are gonna front mount it. We're gonna put those fans up there as exhaust. I know it's not ideal, but we are gonna have to do that. And when we do that, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so I'm trying to be a little quiet because Jacob mom, Jacob's mom is sleeping now. It's pretty late at night, but Basically, like I said, we ended up having to front mount this. We didn't know that the fans had to go in first. So what we did is we screwed one screw through the fan into the radiator hole uh, and then front panel. Yeah, you can see that gap a little bit, but we got the cable routed off to the side here. Uh, so that won't be visible. So we did have to front mount the radiator. I know that's kind of a no-no, but um, mm. just to have proper clearance, we had to. So we've got the two intakes here, um, three exhausts here. So negative pressure, which is fine. Uh, we still got to put in the I.O. shield and plug stuff in. And then once that is done, I will be back and pretty soon we'll be turning it on. So, yeah. All right, guys. So basically what we've done since I last I checked in with you guys. Yeah, yeah. But wait, did you just press it? No, I haven't pressed it. Okay, good, good, good. Don't press it yet. So basically, guys, what we did so far is we plugged in um, the front panel. We daisy chained the RGB fans. We plugged in the pump header. Um, we plugged in the power switch. We couldn't find the power LED thing. We also couldn't find the JUSB 3.1, but theoretically the PC should post um, because the CPU is in. We have uh, this hooked up to the integrated uh, port on the motherboard. Radiator's all good, RAM's all good, storage is all good. Um, power supply is, is, is connected here and hopefully that means on. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, if you want to do the honors in three, two, one. My bet is it's not gonna post. Uh, here, let me wait. Let me flip the switch. Wait, don't go yet. Three, two, one. I'll try it back the other way one more time. Three, two, one. Are we sure we even have that plugged in? What the power supply? Yeah. No, power no, supply. No, no, this, this. Power. power switch. Here, let me. I'll move it once, and we'll. Let me see. And I can do it like the other way, so that it's. And I can do other corner. Try that. Go. Okay. Let's move it again. Go. <gasps> just, just, yes. Oh my God, guys. Okay, that's a beautiful AIO. I can't lie. Like all the all the trouble we went through there is kind of worth it. So I'm noticing, right? Every fan is working. Okay, wait. See, except. Change, please. Um, F1. Press oh, F1. Okay, turn it Interesting. Oh, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. So I'll press F1 into the turn back off. That's just the RGB. That's not the whole PC, I don't think. Ooh, wait, we are getting an error light. We are getting an error light. Troubleshooting LED. VGA, boot. Is it in a boot loop? Oh, wait. Oh, yo, we're in the BIOS. Oh, thank the fucking gods. Okay. Dude, we're in the BIOS. XMP profile. Wait, we'll we'll do XMP, but like right now. Wait, are all the fans plugged in? Only one. So basically, the issue is this fan, um, but that should be pretty fixable. Okay. Um, I wonder if we press the LED switch, will it actually change the colors? We have to hold for two seconds. Yeah, no, that's not working. That's not now, this is actually my first time seeing the Corsair Vengeance RAM in person, and I must say, it's pretty nice. 
but the fractal lumen aio is actually not bad like it's actually pretty sick um so what i'm gonna try to do now is basically f oh also we had issues with the io shield so i forgot that you got to put it in before you put the motherboard in i am pretty dumb so um i do own that one um so this fan uh we're gonna light it up and i'll be back when we light it up okay guys so i actually did it um these fans are not synced up with these three but these three are synced up so it's i think it's just an error with the daisy chaining it's also a matter of like these were the three pre um like fans that came with the case um or no uh which fans came with the aio didn't those come with the aio no these were stock with the case was this was stock with the case these came with the aio so it's interesting that these are all daisy chained properly and this one's not but anyways um the pc booted the system booted we are in here jacob will turn on his xmp and all that uh which it is actually xmp because it's intel um and not docp uh when he puts the graphics card he'll send me a picture and i'll put that on screen now it'll also be in the thumbnail um he is also going to end up um, unscrewing the eight screws holding this in and then the center standoff. And basically, um, he'll put the IO shield on and then put the motherboard back in without taking the radiator out or any fans out, hopefully. Uh, quick pointer, you might have to end up taking the back fan out yeah, to do that. Um, but yeah, so uh, the PC booted, so that's sick. Um, another like build that we got under the books and at least it functions um this is my first intel build i will say the hardest part was probably the aio but also the cabling was also very hard um and you know we had some issues with with mounting the aio for sure so that's probably the worst part um but i'm actually very happy with how the aio looks i'm happy with how the ram looks um oh we're getting a cpu overheating the alert fans are spinning Oh, I didn't notice that. All of them are on. So none of the fans are spinning, so that's interesting. We might need to fix that. I don't feel too much heat here. And again, it's a CPU issue. Yeah. So Jacob will also make sure that the fans are spinning. But like, as of now, it like posts. So that's interesting. Um, it's just a matter of fixing the fans. Um, we plugged in the RGB. Here, I actually want to try one more thing to fix the fans, and then I will end the video. Alright guys, so basically, same issue, fans aren't spinning. Um, I tried daisy chaining them in different ways. In the manual here, you can see that it shows basically plugging this into a 4-pin. Um, the only issue is, we don't have one of those that has holes in it, it has pins in it. Um, and so, for the 4-pins over here, we just don't have something that fits into it. So, we're having a bit of an issue. He's definitely going to try to fix that, though. As you can see, the CPU core temp is, like, 96. going really high. It's at 96 it's right now. Uh, and that is definitely um, because the fans are not spinning. Uh, it could also be some kind of issue with the mounting pressure of the cooler, but uh, I'm going to go back to Jacob's house in a few days, and we will try our best to figure out the issues plaguing the system. Um, but until then, we're going to pause the video. Okay guys, so it's been a month since I last saw you. I built this PC uh, back a few days before school started, so probably around the 1st of September. Um, it's now, when I'm recording this, it is the 3rd of October. Um, so, first of all, please ignore this mess uh, on this table. A uh, little snippet of the next video. It will be another massive mechanical switch test, but with better switches, enthusiast switches. We've got tangies labs all, all the things all the things uh but jacob's build is done uh he got a gpu he settled on the gigabyte eagle 3070 um he got it in a bundle deal with a 1440p 165 hertz monitor for just 600 dollars, which that price is just insane uh, it was on sale on newegg that bundle and so he jumped on it he needed a new monitor anyways so now he's got a triple monitor tie fighter set up which is pretty cool um but alas i will show you right now this is what his pc looks like i'm putting it on screen you can see all the fans are synced up uh the radiator is still in the front because of the ram clearance issue and the the motherboard vr and heat sink clearance issue i don't know if he ended up ultimately putting on his io shield um but that doesn't matter for the side view of the pc you know the the, the view that really matters 
Um, ultimately, I would say this build with Jacob was probably a little bit easier than my original build with the uh, 2080 Ti and the Montec Air X. Of course, now it's uh, Fantex, uh, what's it called? P500A and uh, 6800 XT in my system. Um, but that original build was very difficult for a variety of reasons. Uh, I would say the build with Jacob was a little easier. It was my first Intel build, so I'm happy I had that under my belt for future reference. Um, but yeah, overall, it was very fun to build a PC with Jacob. Uh, I'm just happy to get more PC building experience. I may have another PC build coming up relatively soon with another one of my friends. I'm not sure yet. Um, great to be back on YouTube, by the way, after a long break. Uh, generally, I'm just really busy. It's senior year of high school, so that's a little update on me. But anyways, um, yeah, so little leak for my next video here um you know we got the glorious lube station we got the labeled keycaps so uh stay tuned for the switch test it's gonna be huge um but i hope you enjoyed the pc build with jacob and yeah see you guys